Now for the title block that I actually want to do a lot of my work in, um, it's on layer 256 and out of the box, that's how Siemens sets it up. It's a visible layer. Anybody can go in and, and modify it. Um, but uh, if you need to, to go in and, and change that, just go under view and layer settings, or you can use your command finder in the top right and just type in layers. So once I slide down to the bottom, I can see it's just a visible layer. So I, as I highlight over top of it, nothing's turned on. So now it's turned on. I'll go ahead and make that my work, just double clicking it and, and starting in there. So for my title block, if I highlight that and right mouse button, I can go ahead and, and modify this definition. And right now there's three uh, tables all linked together to, to create that title block. So I'll make sure that's highlighted and I'll just go over to where I want and I'm just hovering. And if I want something deselected, I'll pick it and it's deselected. So the only thing that's left and I can only have one thing left, otherwise I have to scrap that whole title block and, and start a new one. So I can go ahead and hit okay. And I'm just gonna delete this information. And I really wanna start modifying this title block with some information that I'm gonna use for my particular company. So I have a logo that I can bring in and depending on your logo, you may have to uh, modify the, the size of it just so that it fits inside of your, your cell. And it, that's really all up to how you uh, create your, your title block. Also, when I try to add this back into this definition, so I'll, I'll pick the title block again, right mouse button, and I need to add this back in. So all I do is just click on it, brings it back in. And as I slide down, I can see I've got some locks on here. So this information to the end user when they bring in that new title block, it, it's locked, so they can't modify it. Um, if, if you go down to the section we just added in, I don't want them modifying the text. So I'll go ahead and start locking information up that I don't want them to have to interact with. Now, the, the thing about this is I can't do groups and lock them at the same time. So typically you do your shift and top bottom and it grabs everything. It doesn't work that way at this point. Um, so you can you have to pick them one at a time. Now, when it comes to actually um, the cell that's there, if I, if I left that as label four, when that title block opens up, it's gonna say label four and the user's gotta figure out, okay, what, what do I need to, to put in there? So to, to prompt them along, I'm just gonna say first uh, by and enter that into that and then drawn by as the user. And it could be uh, capital, it, it, it doesn't really matter at this point because it's not going on the drawing other than they just have to type in the information that is needed. So I have some information in there ready to go. And one way to test it out to see what that's gonna look like is if I go back to my drafting tools and populate my title block, I can see first issued, uh, drawn by, checked, approved, but then I have these four areas that are still left open. Maybe that's an annoyance for your users or they don't care, but I'm gonna go ahead and lock that back up so they don't have to, to monkey around with it. Lock those four up and they're ready to go. Now, if you decide you don't like that title block and you create a new one, you, you have some uh, shapes or sizes that you, you're more used to, you're gonna go back to the home in your drafting environment and select tabular notes. So as you work through the different groups, I have columns in my rows. I'm gonna leave it at that. How that is going to be anchored onto my drawing, it's the bottom right or bottom left. And then I wanna make sure that I snap it to something. So I'm gonna leave the associative on. So if this ever changes, that title block is gonna go for the ride. Also, it works similar to Excel, just picking a cell and select my rows or my columns. And I could just right mouse button and go ahead and insert to the left. Or 
or if I need to add a, uh, another row in, go ahead and put it above. Now I'll just drag this around and it's going to do it for all. Yes. And if I need to uh, go ahead and merge this, I can merge those cells together. So it's really up to your taste and how your drawing formats are going to look. Now, just to mimic the, the bottom title block area, you can see I've got a, a title and then the actual text that's going to go into there to populate this title block. So if I go ahead and edit text and type in title there, you can see I'm getting some hash symbols in there. And what that means is that the text is too large for that, that particular cell. So you just either have to stretch it out or go back in and edit your text height to something smaller. And then I can go ahead and, and tighten up that, that cell the way I want it to. Also, um, I don't want to see that bottom line. So if I go back in to edit the settings for that, go ahead and expand down into your cell area, and you have some options in there of how that is going to look. Right now, it's got lines all the way around, similar to Excel. So I'll just pick the bottom and make it invisible. And then I can go ahead and right mouse button, go ahead and import my, my uh, emblem for my company. The, uh, bringing in the images act a little bit different. It's not a, it's not a text size, it's an actual um, JPEG. So I'm gonna have to stretch this guy around a little bit just to get my logo to show up. And that's essentially how you go ahead and create your title block for your drawings.